The ATM business. I think it's time for an update video. If you guys don't already know this about me, I have my own ATM business. Some of you guys might have watched my previous videos I made on it, or this might just be your first time hearing about the business as a whole. It's 2021 and a lot of things have changed, so I thought it would be a perfect idea to share with you guys how you guys can start your own ATM business, taking into account everything that's going on in the world right now, and sharing some of my own experiences. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Your boy is really close to 30,000 subscribers and I hope to hit it by the end of the month and by you guys doing that it'll help me out a lot for those of you that don't already know how the ATM business works it's actually super simple how you make money from the ATM business is every time someone uses the ATM to withdraw money they get charged a fee which is called a surcharge and what is also your profit the best part is you can set your surcharge to whatever you want whether it is three four five dollars you name it and no matter how much someone withdraws you get that three four five dollar profit so let's say you are are the customer and I am the ATM owner. You come in to withdraw money from my ATM and you take out $20. Now I set my ATM fee to $3 so you'll be charged a total of $23. Then $23 will be deposited back into my bank account. The $20 is the money that I put into the machine to load it and then the $3 which is my profit. Now that's cool and all but how much can you actually make from one single ATM? Well let's go find out. All right, so the ATM I just went to was in a barber shop and I took out the receipt. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, let it focus. I dispensed $5,500 and made almost $200 in revenue from my surcharge. So at that laundromat, I charge $3 per transaction and I get anywhere in between four to six transactions per day. If we do the math, that's around 12 to $18 a day. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna say I make about $14 a day from that ATM. If we multiply that by 30 days in a month, we get $420 in revenue I make from that one ATM. I give the owner of the spot 25 cents per transaction for letting me keep my ATM in his spot and use his customers, which is around $105 and leaves me with $315. I also pay my processing company 10 cents per transaction, which is about $31, which leaves me with a whopping $284 a month in profit, which is average. Obviously, it's not consistent every single month. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, but that's almost $300 a month in profit for literally doing nothing. All I have to do is go maybe once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week and refill the ATM with some cash. Also, a common misconception about the ATM business is that you need to load an ATM with $10,000, dollars $30,000. That's not the case at all. When I started with my ATM, I only loaded it with a couple hundred dollars. And as I started to do more transactions, I slowly started to increase the amount I have in my ATM. The only thing is the less cash you keep in there, the more often you have to go to replenish your ATM. So if you don't wanna do that, just put a lot of money in there at once and you probably don't have to go replenish it for maybe a couple weeks or maybe even a month, depending on how much you put in the ATM. Now, some of you guys might be confused when I talked about the processing company or that you have to pay the owner a fee. So let's go over how you can start your own ATM business from scratch. Now, it's crucial you follow these steps in order. You'll see why later in this video. The very first thing is you're going to want to create an LLC. Now, it's super important you have one because it'll help you stay protected in case anything happens, which will cost you about $100 depending on your state. Now, if you guys want to create your LLC for free, I made a full in-depth video on how you guys can do that. It's a complete walkthrough video and you guys can watch it by clicking up here or clicking the video down in the description box below. Next, you're going to need an ATM processor to process your transactions. Now, you would think having an ATM it would automatically do that but unfortunately it doesn't and you need someone or a company to process the cards the customers use in your machine. Now I always recommend sticking with a local processor so all you have to do is type in your city on Google and type in ATM processors near me. You hit them up and see what their rates are. Average rates are about 15 to 30 cents per transactions but you can always negotiate the price down. You can say something like I plan on building a large ATM business with multiple machines. This is usually gets them excited because the more machines that you have, the more transactions you do, which will make them more money. Next, which is probably going to be the trickiest part, you're going to want to find a business to put your ATM in. There are plenty of businesses out there that are great for ATMs. The ones that do best are cash only businesses, such as barbershops, convenience stores, hotels, motels, liquor stores, you get the gist. We dispensaries are great too if they are legal in your state. 
Now comes the part where you actually go out and buy your machine after you created your LLC, found a processor, and landed a location. The reason you buy it last is because you don't want to buy a machine and just have it sitting in your garage while you then go out and find locations and set up your LLC. Plus, when you land a location, they'll understand if it takes a while to get an ATM because it's not something you can just order on Amazon Prime. Now, you can either buy a new ATM online, which will cost about two to three thousand dollars, but I have a better way. It's by buying it used, which will cut the price down in half to about twelve to fourteen hundred dollars. Now you have to get it from a trusted seller, such as a local ATM processing company. I recommend just asking your processing company, the ones that are doing your transactions that they have any used ones on hand, which they most likely always do. With new machines being about twenty five hundred dollars, you save over a thousand dollars just by getting it used. Plus, if you get it from your processing company, which is doing your transactions, not only one are you building a relationship with them but they'll also possibly throw in a warranty and ATMs are built to last so you honestly don't have to worry about getting the latest and greatest once you get the ATM you install the ATM in the business you can have the processing company come and install it for you or you can do it yourself I recommend having them install it for you for the first time and see how they do it and next time when you get another machine you can install it yourself but that is it and your business is ready to go one more thing I forgot to mention is that you usually have to pay the business you put your ATM in a certain fee now this can range from you know 25 cents to a dollar print transaction but that's up to you guys and what the business owner what you guys decide on you can either do a fixed fee you give them every single month or you can set up an arrangement where you give them 25 50 cents per transaction the best part of the ATM business is let's say a location isn't performing the best for you you can always just pick it up and move it to another location yeah it might be a little inconvenient but at least you can move it wherever you want and it can start making you money Besides the cost of the machine, you have no other fixed costs. You only pay the business owner whenever you make a transaction, and the processing company only takes their cut when you make a transaction. If you've always wanted to start your own business, the ATM business is a great place to start. The startup cost isn't too much, and you have a pretty much guaranteed return on your money if you can find a good location to put your ATM in. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you found this helpful in any way, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, or if you guys have any questions about the ATM business let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.